Donald Trump has called for Joe Biden to resign in disgrace. Donald Trump is wondering exactly who Joe Biden will surrender to next and if America can withstand the embarrassment of the Biden regime, further destroying our country. It is really embarrassing. Here we go. Donald Trump has been releasing some absolute barn burners. We will start with explaining that these are released through a press release mechanism. Okay, so Donald Trump has the uh, embraced the mechanism of releasing sort of a, a traditional press release. So we're going to read these to you in sequence. This is what Donald Trump's press releases have been over the last 24 hours. What has Joe Biden done with Afghanistan is legendary. What Joe Biden has done with Afghanistan is legendary. It will go down in history as the greatest defeats in American history. That is correct and proving true. It is time for Joe Biden to resign, Trump says, in disgrace for what he has allowed to happen in Afghanistan. Along with the tremendous surge in COVID, the border catastrophe, and the destruction of energy independence and our crippled economy. Now, as of this morning, Donald Trump is saying that he is wondering who Joe Biden will surrender to next. And I quote, first Joe Biden surrendered to COVID and it has come roaring back. Then he surrendered to the Taliban who quickly overtook Afghanistan and destroyed confidence in American power and influence. The outcome in Afghanistan, including the withdrawal, would have been totally different if the Trump administration had been in charge. Who or what will Joe Biden surrender to next? Someone should ask him if they can find him. It's brutal. It's brutal. Can anyone imagine, this is another press release from Donald Trump. Can anyone imagine taking out our military before evacuating civilians and others who have been good to our country and who would have been allowed to seek refuge? In addition, those people left top flight and highly sophisticated equipment, who can believe such incompetence? Under my administration, all civilians and equipment would have been removed. And finally today, Afghanistan is the most embarrassing military outcome in the history of the United States. It didn't have to be that way. That is absolutely and 100% correct. Joe Biden is the American president who brought us the fall of Saigon once more. Joe Biden was actually instrumental in the fall of Saigon originally, and now he has his own worse American humiliation, the greatest American humiliation on the military stage perhaps ever.